so what we are doing right now is we are finding the refractive index of the prism or we can also find this one what is that angle of minimum deviation okay yes auntie okay so now first after that let us name the prism a b c take any point here and draw one perpendicular line perpendicular means exactly it should be 90 so take perpendicular line join this yes this is the normal so with respect to the normal let's have let us have one uh, angle of incidence let us take starting 30 for example so with respect to the normal it is 90 that means 10 20 30 so let us take here so this is 30 and let's try draw a big line joining with 30 degrees and after that you can extend that line as much as possible however you wish so you can extend that line and this is angle of incidence 30 degrees then after that on this line where you have taken this straight line insert two pins anywhere with with five to four centimeters distance and we can then name it pencil is there Yes, let us name them A and B. Yes, that's true. Let us change the names. Yes, P, Q, R, S, let us take. Yes, P, Q, that is the angle of, sorry, ray of incidence. Now, after drawing this, now keep the prism. While handling the prism, see that there should not be your fingerprints so that we will get a neat or this one. Now, can you please see from the other side, trace those images and pin them. All of them should come in a straight line. exactly the image of those two pins one is for p you, you touch it with hand no then your reading will be wrong don't touch it yes another one yes that's what i said yes another one with respect to the second pin Everybody can see? Are there four of them are the same straight line? No. Yes, correct, correct. You should keep. No problem, it takes time. Prism experiment it takes time. So no problem. Yes. So now it's straight here. Now this this is a this pin I kept to protect this paper, not flying. Okay. These two, these two and these two should come in straight, same straight. Second line. First is perfect. Now you should close one eye, then you can see better. So now what we will do is. Uh, what we will do is remove these two pins R and S R and S okay so these prick marks are there 
so extend those prick marks let's see extend those prick marks like this now if the ray if the prism is not there if the prism is not there pq must have gone straight like this if prism is not there this pq layer should have gone straight like this like this now because prism is there now this ray it is deviated along the line rs now what what is this is angle of incidence this is angle of emergent now angle between that is the straight line and this emergent this is called as angle of deviation angle of deviation so now this is the angle of incidence pq is the ray of incidence and because of this prism it is deviated and it's going straight like this it means it is bent and is going along rs if prism is not there this pq must have come along this line so let us say along like uh, t u like this it must have come but what happened because of the prism it is bent so the angle between this straight line that is pq t u and that is angle between this uh, pq and then rs that's called as angle of deviation so so we can write it as delta now we will measure this angle can anyone please measure yes, approximately 35 i think okay so here we are getting uh, d d r sometimes we are also write as delta that is equal to 35 degrees for the angle of incidence i we got delta is equal to uh, for angle x 30 degrees we got delta is equal to 35 degrees mm. so the first reading is over you have to preserve this paper for your manual recording all these papers you have to uh, keep for your manual recording so now you can remove this paper this work is over now you have to take another white paper for the second reading yes now i am removing the prism again so remove these two pins remove these two pins and uh, keep this prick marks prick marks this is let us say uh, r and s let us write and join them and extend them careful if you do perfectly you'll get correct readings and you'll also get full marks in the lab exam another thing is viva you have to prepare well perfectly you should know what is angle of deviation etc now once you extend it like the previous case this is the angle between the straight ray and the deviated ray so now you measure this angle to measure the angle where they join there you keep this center point shall i remove them yes kitna how much 48 40 little more than 40 exactly is it oh uh, maybe you are all look okay there should not be parallax error also no it is correct 40 40 yes here angle of incidence we have taken 35 degrees angle of deviation is equal to 40 degrees we got okay you people repeat the experiment now i will not do just give me your notebook just observation book yes what you will do now take take a tabular form i'm just showing you roughly angle of incidence and angle of deviation 
take different readings 30 degrees 35 degrees 40 degrees 45 degrees go on doing repeating the same experiment and all these papers you have to preserve you have to pin them in your lab book lab manual and then 50 you can also go up to 55 uh, if possible six readings are better then after that you have to draw the graph so draw the graph so what you will do is uh, take a graph that is the graph will come u-shaped like this okay here you will take angle of incidence here you will take angle of deviation yes okay so now after that then you keep on plotting this this comes exactly in the u shape if you do perfectly you will get like this so you can uh, see here okay so that this minimum whatever this minimum value this is called as angle of minimum deviation deviation okay so uh, if you take this for now any deviation angle so for that two two angles of incidence are there so for example if you draw a straight line like this so you will get like this here two two angles of incidence will be there but at minimum deviation here for one angle of incidence you will get only one angle of deviation so this is called as angle of minimum deviation so prism you have seen here and this is the angle of the prism angle of the prism which we call as the capital a therefore once you know angle of minimum deviation so we also call this as dm then refractive index of the material of the prism sin a plus dm by 2 whole divided by sin a by 2 sometimes some practical examiners may ask you to find only up to angle of minimum deviation but sometimes some of them may ask you to find refractive index so a refractive index is simple sin a plus dm by 2 a means angle of the prism and dm means minimum deviation where you got this point and sin a by 2 with this your experiment will be over now we have done for 30 and 35 so proceed with 40 45 50 55 each one of you should get this paper six six papers for one person so that you have to staple them in your journal